Next let us move on to diagnostics. Diagnostics can be done based on status messages, warnings and alarm, fault and historic log. Before learning in detail about diagnostics, let me give you a quick note. The LCP101 display shows a numerical LCP, whereas the LCP102 display shows a graphical LCP. First let's see the status messages. Take a look at the display area. Local means operation through keypad. Auto on means, remote control. The different status, messages possible are. Run OK. Unit ready. Stand by. Stop. Run jog. Ramping. Braking. Current high. To see more information on each message, click on the chart. Next, let us see the warning and alarm messages. Warning or alarm messages are displayed when the frequency converter's fault circuitry detects a fault condition or a pending fault. A warning light flashing display thus indicates potential problems. There are two levels of alarms, reset alarms and trip lock alarms. In case of reset alarm, you can stop and then start the unit. In case of trip lock alarm, you have to disconnect the mains, wait for dark display, then stop and start. To learn about the different alarms and warnings, click on the chart. Finally, let us have a look at the fault and historic log. The historic log, otherwise called the last stop log, shows the last 50 values. That is from 0, the latest to 49, the oldest. The historic log settings can be obtained from 1510 to 154 group. 
the historic log gives a scope function, which is set up by the parameters, given in the parameter group 151. The settings is used for, showing the results in MCT 10. It shall be remarked that, the historic log values are stored in the RAM, and will therefore vanish, if the power is removed from the drive. The parameters 1521, represents the error code. For more information on historic log, refer the section 152, of the design guide. Fault log, or alarm log. 10 alarms will be logged in the fault log, which can be found in the, 153 parameter group function. From these, 5 is available through the alarm log button key, on the LCP. Finally, we shall have a look at the, online loggings. The online loggings can be accessed, by the quick menu key function, Q6 loggings. Take a look at the graphs. It shows, the performance characteristics, of the five different parameters set up in the LCP. Let's go in, for a quick check, of your understanding, before we close. That's correct. The stop key on the control panel does not disconnect the AC line. That's correct. Quick menu is a means of quick access to a selected number of parameters. With this, we have come to the end of this module. I hope you would have got a good introduction to basic service issues, such as safety measures, tools required, programming the drive through LCP, and diagnostics to help you in your work.